He did uh, the last. Uh, well, good morning. He did uh, the last two training sessions with the team, uh, last training session yesterday because the day of the game and after today is Friday. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday did uh, the training session with the team. Uh, he has not pain and he's uh, injured. So after we're going to the site. Obviously, this week you said you only had 15 first team players available, and then we saw, for example, John Stones come off with precautionary uh, a half time in midweek. Can you give us an update on him and maybe the other injuries in the squad? Well, yesterday was in the treatment, and today is still within training. We're going to train this afternoon at 4 o'clock, so we're going to see how the players uh, how, uh, know how they feel, uh, because when you have less than just 60 hours to recovery between the games, so. We'll see. Because of the situation with the injuries and your squad being as stretched probably as it's ever been, does it change your thinking on no. January and whether you're going to sign any players? No, no, no. We are not going to sign anyone. And the fact you managed to finish top of your Champions League group, does it mean you can now look forward to the draw a little bit more as group winners? Well, you never know that. So it doesn't matter what happened, always we are lucky. So we have the tendency to underestimate the, the opponents. So uh, you never know. So sometimes finish first. The fact the second leg is at home, I think, give you some advantage. But sometimes, uh, uh, always I had the feeling my 10 years being in this stage and last 16 is they always tough. Uh, so we will see. Important is to be there. That is the most important thing, to be there uh, one more year and, and try to, in, in this competition, Champions League, when it's happened in February, Mars, arrive in the, in the good conditions and play as healthy. So that is gone. Pep, Simon Stone, BBC. Everton <clears throat> the only side that you've played in both your seasons here and not beat it. Is there something specific about them, or, or is it just coincidence? Well, I would say that in both games we play top, uh, especially the first one. We play really, really good in the first year, and the second year after 10 or 15 minutes, one incredible year, red card from Kyle Walker, we play 11 against 10, I think 65, 70 minutes, and 1-0 down. And we make an incredible as well second second part. So I think we, we make a good games against Ronald Koeman team, but we didn't win. That's the truth. We dropped four points here. Tomorrow's another game. Everton changed completely the team in terms of players and Bernard Sigurdsson and Richardson and many 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 players. Now Digne and Yerry Mina all. Barcelona player, so it's a top side. So I'm really impressed how good they do uh, so far. So it will be a tough, tough, tough game after Champions League, less recovery. The people yesterday were so tired, so we'll see. We'll see tomorrow how we react uh, playing at 12.30. And the fact that you, you lost last week, does that mean it, it's important to start winning again to get that momentum back? Yeah, of course. Of course it is. Last season, one of the secrets is when we dropped points, immediately we, we were able to make a, another big run to winning games, winning games, winning games, and of course it's important. But uh, we have to just focus what we have to do and try to, to beat them. But of course now it's Christmas time is here and the people, you know, everybody in holidays, the kids in the school, out of the school at home, and families come back at home and have the tendency to, you know, to enjoy the, the Christmas times, and it's the toughest part of the season in terms of the opponent results and so on, so try to be focused, keep focused. Hi, Pep. Jonathan Smith from ESPN. Mm -hmm. uh, just on Everton, how impressed have you been with the way they've played away from home, particularly with that game at uh, Liverpool when they were slightly unlucky not to get a point or even a win? But I know just Liverpool and Stamford Bridge, they play good defensive good. They, they, they are so well organised. Marco Silva teams always, when we face them, they are always well, well organised. So we're going to speak today how what to do to attack them better, more fluently. And and okay, the rest, the quality of the players, hopefully they make the difference. And could uh, Kevin be in the squad tomorrow? He took the same case from Sergio. He said we trained, we trained quite well, no pain. We'll see.
Hi, Pep. Uh, Fred Gaudiero for Sport Interact Brazil. Just adjust my camera. Sorry. Yeah, fix the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, on Everton, uh, probably you've been following Richarlison. He's a top, top scorer for the team and he's been developing himself after a season in Watford and now in Ever Everton. What's your opinion on him? Well, Everton not just defend. They have a quality in front. A lot of work you know how fast it is. But Natek Shakhtar Donetsk is an incredible talent player. And Richarlison, he did it so well in the first year in, in, you know, in London, in Watford. And after, like Marco Silva came here, he brought with him top player, fast, and uh, provoked a lot of falls, and right-left, strong in the air. Yeah, top player. That's why they pay a lot.